Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is it. This is the handbag collection video for 2019. I try to do this video every year, but this time I thought I'd do it a little bit different. I'll obviously be talking about each bag, trying it on, showing you the details, but I'll also be speaking about the best and the worst features about each bag. Everything has a pro and a con. So if you like something, check the description box down below because I'll link everything there. As usual, I won't spend too much time on each bag because you know me, I'm to the point. Actually, maybe you don't know me. If you don't, then hello. I'm Shay. Nice to meet you. If you happen to be new, consider subscribing. It's, it's just right down there. It's super easy. But I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. So the very first bag is actually one of my newer handbag purchases. This is my Lady Dior in a beautiful beige color. And oh my gosh, I struggled so hard with deciding on this bag for years. And I finally found it pre-loved on Fashion File and I saved a lot of money. So I jumped on it and it's in, it's in really good condition. And I just absolutely love wearing it. I do think it's a tad hard to get in and out of, but like the top of it, um, but it's really not that bad. And the strap allows you to wear it in many ways. So so you can just take the strap off and, and actually carry it by the top handles. So I just think it's a really classy bag. Princess Diana loved it and it's a bag I really never wanna get rid of. So the next bag is my Balenciaga Ville bag and I bought it brand new. A lot of people might think I was crazy because it definitely is more of a trendy bag. Um, but oh my gosh, I love it so much for its functionality. I wear it as a crossbody. I wear it over my shoulder. It just holds so much. And I really love this back pocket to actually slip my cell phone into it. Um, so those are those are the kind of like the, the main pros of the bag, but the con is definitely, like I said, the trendiness of it. I personally love it right now, but will it withstand the test of time? Probably not, but it's a classic shape. It's very similar to the Louis Vuitton Alma, but either way, I definitely recommend this bag. Next, we have this Gucci beige Marmont bag, and I absolutely love this particular beige color. It is the perfect tone. It's a fairly large shoulder bag, um, but you can pull the chain down and wear it different ways, but it does fit a large amount of items, and I love the beautiful Gigi emblem that has an easy open closure. So I'm still kind of torn on whether or not this is becoming a classic or a trendy bag. I'm kind of leaning a little more towards trendy. Um, I am worried that over time, this top section actually will become too smashed. So I do think that's the con, but overall I do really love it and I enjoy wearing it. Next we have a very similar bag, just in a smaller size. So this is the Gucci Marmont purple velvet bag. And I freaking love it because of the unique color. It really stands out in, in such a good way. I seriously get compliments every single time I wear it. And it does hold a, a decent amount. It, it's a lot less than the larger size, um, but still a good amount. And I really haven't had any problems with the velvet material at all. Although I probably you know shouldn't be wearing it in the rain or anything, and I haven't. Um, but regardless, this is definitely up there with one of my favorite bags. Next, we have my collection of Senrev bags. And just for the sake of time, I'm going to show all of them on screen for you, just because I actually have every size of the Maestra bag. It's such a unique and versatile bag. You can actually wear it four different ways. You can wear it on your shoulder as a crossbody. You can make it a backpack, and then you can obviously just wear it on the crook of your arm. And the leather, guys, it's truly amazing quality. Um, I really like the inside suede material as well. I would say the con of the bag is the fact that you can actually hold so much much that sometimes it can get kind of heavy if you just put too much in there. But then, you know, for work and for travel, or I guess sometimes like everyday situations, it really can be handy at the same time because it does hold a lot. But again, um, just something to consider. Next, we have this YSL college crossbody bag. And guys, I can't even tell you how much I've worn this bag. It's probably my most worn bag of the year at least so far. So I really love it. It has a magnetic closure. It's super easy to get in and out of. The color is versatile. I really can just grab it and go. Um, and then any bag with this little flap back here for my cell phone <laughs> wins extra points. Uh, but for the longest time, I would say that it did wear really well, but in recent weeks, I started to notice a little wear right here at the tip. So I definitely was bummed, but guys, I seriously have worn this so much that I kind of, kind kind of, I don't know, maybe not. I kind of understand why, but um, it's really not that noticeable. However, I did want to mention it because it's probably just going to get worse, not better. So boo. 
Here we have the classic Louis Vuitton Speedy 25, and many people love this bag in the bandolier version because you can actually wear it also as a crossbody, but mine is just the classic version. And to be honest, I kind of do wish it did have a strap, um, but I got an amazing deal on this one, and I was looking at the, the Azure color at the time, and I found it. So I definitely do recommend it. I think it's a classic. It holds a lot. I really don't think it'll be going out of style um, unless, unless you just hate Speedies in which case you'd obviously hate this. A lot of people actually do hate speedies, but I don't. Um, and then there also is the natural vaquetta on it. So that would be my only con, unless you spray the apple guard on it, which you should watch my video on that because it totally works. So speaking of Louis Vuitton speedies, this is my Louis Vuitton speedy in the size 30. And so kind of like the last bag, this one also is very classic. It is in the bandolier version though. So it has the strap and I really recommend it this way. It can be worn over your shoulder, crossbody, and then of course on the crook of your arm. So I just love it actually with a handbag organizer. You should check out my latest video where I organize all of my daily essentials. It is in the Demier Ben print. So it has the treated leather. I never have to worry about the rain and it wears so well. It seriously looks brand new and I've had it for years and years. Um, it's definitely one that I will not be selling. And to be honest, I'm not even sure that there's a con to it, at least in my opinion. Next we have the Givenchy Antigona bag. And this is in the mini size. So it's a lot smaller than the typical size people go for in this bag. And mine is actually in a textured burgundy patent leather. I love burgundy as a color for a bag. And I also love the little top handles on the bag as well, because you can actually remove the strap and then just carry this as like a little mini bag. Um, the con of it though, I would say is how tight the opening is. It's, it's not very easy sometimes to get in to like actually get your items out or kind of even see in the bag, but it does hold a lot. So um, I, I really do like wearing it. I'm happy I purchased it. And I think this fall I'll be wearing it even more. Next we have this Louis Vuitton Palm Springs backpack. And oh, I do really love this bag. I think it's gorgeous to look at. It's very comfortable to wear. And I just, I just really like it. But I find that the bulky straps while they are very comfortable, they just kind of look masculine and a little sporty to me, which which can be okay, but sometimes I find that it doesn't look great with my outfits, and so I don't grab it as much as I would like. Uh, the one thing that I do really appreciate about it, though, is the difficult zipper, which might sound really weird, but the zipper isn't as smooth as most Louis Vuitton bags, which is actually really nice because it's on your back, and you don't want anyone stealing anything out of your bag when it's on your back. So um, no one's gonna be stealing anything out of this bag without you knowing. Okay, so I'm gonna reach up here and grab one of my very first designer bags, which is this Chanel rectangular mini. And I was so pumped and excited when I first purchased this. But in hindsight, I do kind of wish it was in caviar leather just because over the years I have realized that that is my preference. But with that said, I do think that lambskin isn't as scary as what many think. Mine still looks really great. And this is one of those bags that just kind of looks amazing with literally any outfit. Sporty, casual, ripped jeans, dressy, and night out on the town. It, it seriously goes with everything. And it is pretty small, so it's not really gonna hold that much. It will hold your essentials, but it's a wonderful bag to add to your collection if you're considering it. Ah, the Louis Vuitton favorite. If you've been following me for a while, you know that this name is fitting for me because it really is one of my favorite bags. And it normally comes with the natural untreated Vaquetta leather strap, but I actually purchased a monogram strap from Louis Vuitton to go with it. And that's probably why I love this bag so much. It's just unbelievably carefree. The magnetic closure, like the flap, um, it's just the easiest thing ever. It's still secure, but it holds a lot. It's, it's just easy. And if I had to pick a con though, I definitely would say that the gold plate on the front does scratch a lot over time. So mine is very scratched, but it really doesn't stop me from wearing it. I know it would probably bother some people, so that's why I wanted to mention it, but I highly, highly recommend this bag. Next up, we have the Chanel Filigree Flat Bag in a two-toned caviar leather. I love the look of this bag. I love the Chanel CCs on the front. I love how it's beige and black. It's just like my color scheme to a T. And I get questions about the color transfer a lot, which I haven't had any issues with that whatsoever. But the downside of the bag is, is kind of the fact that it, it doesn't hold that much. And then the chain strap, 
doesn't seem as high of quality as my other Chanel bags. And I'm not really sure why, but that's something that I really noticed immediately. And I, I still love the bag, but the chain just, it just doesn't seem as luxurious as I would expect, especially for the price. Um, hopefully you don't think I'm complaining about every bag. I'm really just trying to tell you all of the best and worst features. This bag is more on the contemporary designer side and it's by Coach. And I think it's such a cute summery spring bag and the quality, seriously, it feels it feels amazing, just kind of like my other high-end bags. And so there for a while, I kind of think Coach wasn't as popular, but people really need to kind of consider them more often. They really do have good quality bags. So this one is great. It's just more of a summer color, and I don't find that I wear it all year round, but for the price and the quality, I'm very happy with it. And here is my Chloe Nile bag. Now this is the epitome of loving a bag purely for its looks. So this really holds like basically nothing. Um, it does hold some stuff, but just really not that much at all. And it's still one of my favorites though, just because it's so darn pretty and unique. And I actually wear it a good amount just because of how well it goes with my outfits. I feel like it elevates my style. It looks chic. And again, I just really love it. This is my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. Now this bag has become quite controversial over the last couple of years. Everyone really wants it, yet it comes with a good chance of having defects. I think, I mean, I think they are trying to fix that all up, but mine has been totally fine. So I really can't complain, but this is by far one of my favorite bags. It holds so much, so much more than a typical crossbody bag. Um, I do love the push button closure. It does get scratched a little bit with time, but mine still seems to look pretty good. And I do think this bag is a more, casual bag, so that is a little limiting in certain situations, but if you do manage to get your hands on it and it doesn't seem to have defects, then I really think you're going to like it. Here is my one and only Prada bag. Now this is a really chic bag in a beautiful blue color, and I don't normally go for blue bags, but there's just something about this one that I really like. I would say the con is the fact that it is limiting on how you can wear it, but if you wanna look sophisticated and classy, this is what I reach for because of the top handle style and it's my only Prada bag I own so I really I really enjoy it. Here is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the GM size. So this is the largest size of the Neverfulls. Many people often opt for the MM size which is the medium um, just because it's probably better for your everyday bag but the GM has worked great for me because it literally is never full. It is such an amazing travel and kind of like a weekend bag. So if, if you wanna carry it around all day long, um, I do recommend cinching the size just, just to make it a little bit smaller. But that is why I love the GM size so much. It's, you can do a lot with it. Now regarding the cons, I'm sure many people would agree with me, this bag does not have a zipper. And so that doesn't really bother me that much, but for travel, I can understand why some people might not want to use this bag. But either way, it is a classic designer bag and a very reasonable priced bag compared to others. This bag is so pretty. This is the Gucci Ophidia and I just love looking at it. And I did go for the smaller size. I think you can get one a bit larger, but this one was perfect for me. And this is just another one of those bags that I actually like to look at it a little more than the functionality of it. So it's just really unique and it has a magnetic snap closure. So I think they were trying to make it very, very secure. So sometimes it's actually hard for me to even open the bag. Um, it's not terrible, but I just wanted to mention that. Uh, the gold chain strap though is so gorgeous and I love the classic kind of Gucci old school style that it has. Um, and then for a shoulder bag, I don't think it holds like too much, but again, I did opt for the smaller size. So I did sacrifice some space. This is probably my favorite bag in my entire collection, just because for the longest time it was my dream dream bag and it still is my dream bag. I love it. Um, to me, it's just so classic, so timeless. I have it in black caviar with gold hardware and it does have the double flap. Now the double flap protects it from getting smashed or flattened and it does add a little bit more weight to the bag, but it really doesn't bother me and I don't find it hard to get in and out of either. Uh, the chain straps are such high quality. I feel like I can wear this with anything and I, I honestly, I really don't have anything bad to say about it. So mwah. This this beautiful bag is the Fendi Can I bag, and I absolutely love the way it looks. I love the Fendi leather logo design. It's just so, so nice. I love the red detail. I like how easy it is to open. 
I really like the chunky leather shoulder strap as well. It's, it just kind of makes it a lot more comfortable. So it's just, I don't know, it's like a good quality bag. I would say it is on the trendy side though. So as much as I love it now, I do question how long I'll love it. But with that said, I am someone that always recommends buying designer bags that you just love. Who cares if it's timeless, classic, trendy, whether or not you'll get your money back. Like if you love it, you'll wear it. And that's what matters. And that's what makes it worth spending your hard earned money. This Tory Burch tote is actually a bag I recently purchased. I was looking for a medium sized tote bag that I could easily fit my laptop in and then carry a few other work essentials. So I really like the color of this bag. I think that's what drew me in. And I also really like how the straps have chains on them. So they hang down from the bag when they're not in use. That's a little bit different than a lot of tote bags. I think this one is still available and I think it's priced reasonably. So I can link it down below like everything else. But, but the leather I think is so, so good. And because of the color though, I do think it's a tad more casual. I do think it comes in black as well. So if you're looking for something a little more dressed up, you could opt for that. But either way, I am super happy with this purchase. This is my YSL wallet slash clutch. Now I purchased this to kind of double as a wallet and a catch all pouch for my larger bags. And I actually really like how it has the card slots on the, the outside, like a wallet. Um, but many of you commented how this was just totally crazy and you would never wear this as a bag because of that. And, and I do agree if I carry this as an evening clutch, I probably wouldn't put my credit cards on the side, but for everyday use, I think it's honestly a really handy feature and the slots seem very strong. I don't feel worried that they would fall out or anything. So I do think it's really nice. It's handy. It's versatile. It's like a little bag and a pouch and a clutch and a wallet all in one. Yay. So here is my newest bag. This is my Chanel Salzburg backpack. So as you can probably tell, I did buy this pre-loved and I did save a lot of money. It's, it's honestly probably my most worn pre-loved bag. Normally I get pre-loved and it's still in like pristine brand new condition, but I just couldn't pass this one up because of the color, the leather, the size, the Chanel details, the style, just everything about it was exactly what I was looking for in a backpack. And honestly, I've, I've been wearing it like crazy. So I actually really like how it is a little bit more worn. So so I don't really feel pressure to keep it looking perfect. I just grab it and I go. And so far I have nothing bad to say about it. Alrighty, so we are ending with what started it all. This is my very first designer bag ever. My husband, Josh, bought this Louis Vuitton delightful bag for me when I gave birth to our son at Paxton seven years ago. So I was so shocked by it. I was elated. I didn't see it coming. Um, and at the time I was really into bags that had only one strap. So he had paid attention to that detail and then picked this one out. So it is a hobo style bag, which really isn't my style now, but it just has such a special place in my heart. And who knows, it might come back around in the future anyway. So I will always be keeping it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will try to find and link the new and pre-loved versions of these bags down below. So if you like this video and maybe you're looking to start your own luxury collection, I do encourage you to watch this video right there all about the best handbag bags to jumpstart your luxury collection. It's a really good one. So I'll see you on over there in my next video. Bye.